um, started coming to LCC in the summer of 2011, before all my health problems, and I was pregnant with Eloise. We were familiar with all the churches in Lafayette, but we needed something new, and my knowledge of where I had been throughout the town um, kind of like crossed a whole lot off of our to-do list. So we found LCC online and decided to give it a try. We walked in the doors and like the first worship song had us hooked because it was, it wasn't like perfected. It was real people. There were flaws um, and it, it just felt so unique and real. Like people weren't putting on a show. They were being actual Christians, real people. After Eloise was born, when she was five months old in the spring of 2012 was when my health issues started. And I think we had met Jeff like twice, maybe three times really yeah, officially and talked passing, to him. Yeah, really. just passing. You know, he's greeting us, we're talking to him. Um, but we didn't know one another by any means. And, you know, when you get admitted to the hospital, they ask you your religious preferences or do you attend a church? And I wrote down LCC. And within like the next three days, he was in the hospital visiting me, Jeff was. And not just in my hospital room, but he came to the dialysis um, unit where I was dialyzing, <laughs> like the horrifically terrifying room. And he just waltzes right in like, it's not a bother at all. <laughs> I barely know this person, but I'm gonna come in here and pray with her and see how I can minister, her, minister to her. And it was incredibly unique in it it just really struck a chord with how much this church cares and loves on people. Seeing other people from the church come by and uh, spend time, give prayers, and then seeing how um, it affected Megan to where she even wanted to use her free time at the hospital to pray for others and stuff like that. Um, it just uh, really sort of warmed my heart to this place. And, all the people here. When my kidney donor came forward and asked to be tested, I felt very burdened by the aspect that if this turned out, it was just indescribable knowing that someone would do something like that for you. And especially in the time frame that we've been here, it's not like we grew up in this church or we've you know, been a, a cornerstone of the church family for a long time. We had been here for a little over a year and someone is already offering to do this for me. And it was like, what? <laughs> it was just hard to contemplate it actually happening, and then it did. Uh, we found out in May that it was official, and then in June the transplant was scheduled. So although it seemed kind of like a long time in the process of all the testing, before we knew it, it was upon us, and it was just a whirlwind of excitement, and I couldn't believe it, and I still wouldn't believe it if I didn't have the scar. <laughs> For us, LCC was, it was like they were in the right place at the right time or they just filled the role God had for them uh, while we needed it. So we just hope with the, with the campaign and, and all that we're striving to do here that um, that happens for anyone who walks through the doors and is looking for something like that. I just hope that with a new facility or just however God leads this whole campaign, that it can uh, sort of be the exact same place that it's been for us, a place that we can call home, a place that is comfortable, that um, it's just a breath of fresh air in the community.